Hey guys, this is David Serna, and uh, I'm doing a video review on hmm, Transformers Generations Deluxe Class Armada Starscream. Here he is in his jet mode, which is a slick looking jet mode. Nothing special, you know. Except you can have one, two, Three, four, five, six wings. Nothing special. And you can... And I don't know if you can see it, but... But right there is his robot mode head. And you can also see the robot mode face. Right there, underneath this flap. He has some landing gear, which is not, which doesn't help Starscream roll. On the bright side, you have a feature which involves a miss two missile launchers, which are fired by pushing it forward and, yeah, this is what the missile looks like. And as I said in the Cybertron Scattershot review, it's a pressure launch missile. Yeah. And uh, on both of the wings up here, you have a Decepticon symbol. One here and one right there. Uh, that's basically it for this mode. And uh, you also have a cockpit right there that is just plain clear. And no, this doesn't open. Just so you know. Uh, let's Go ahead and transform them. Let's, what you want to do is fold up the landing gear like that. Let me bring the camera up a little. Bring the arm out. Yeah, this one is a bit floppy because I had it for a long time. Flip the fists out. Fold this flap down, push this head up before you do so. Push the cockpit down, form the chest. Unfold the legs. Push in the tail fin for the knee cap. Rotate it. Unfold the feet. Yep. The same thing with the other side. Fold his his body down. And you can angle the wings however you want. If you want if you want it to be cartoon accurate you can just have it like straighten his body out and there is Starscream in his robot mode now he has kind of a sneer look as you can see I don't know if it's just me or not and then you also have some nice looking uh, paint job, both the vehicle mode and the robot mode. And if you come over to the side, you can see how hollow his, his body is. And the, they had a 
nose cone for the crotch. Yeah. Before I get to the articulation, I'm going to point out that he has no waist articulation. All right? But the head is on a bowl joint, so it can go up and down and rotate 360 degrees. Sometimes it could be a pain. His arms can rotate 360 degrees, but they do get hindered by the wings. They can go in and out like this, but it, it exposes the whatever this piece is. They can bend at the elbow, rotate 360 degrees at the upper part of the arm. They can go, his hands can go in and out due to the transformation. Uh, his legs can go forward and back, but sometimes it hits this this little thing right here. It can go outward. They can bend at the knee like that much. They can rotate 360 degrees at the thigh. His feet can go up and down. The right foot is tough. But yeah. The only accessory I can think of that is included instead of these two missiles are his swords. Come on. Come on. There we go. And let's get this guy off as well. And if for, for this, for the sword, what you want to do is unfold it carefully, and there you have a sword. And it, it can go on in his hand. What you gotta do is plug it in. I'm not gonna force it because I'm not. I don't want to break the sword. Now he looks ready. I'm gonna kick some Autobot butt talks. And if you want him to really be ready for war, you can push the missile launchers up on his shoulders. And uh, he's definitely ready for war. Raise the camera up a little so you see what I want to do. And uh, just for and uh, just for a quick size comparison, here he is next to High Octane Bumblebee. And uh, he's taller than Bumblebee. And uh, here you is next to Transformers Prime Wheeljack. He's also taller than Star Scream is also taller than Wheeljack. Also, for another size comparison, you have. Beast Hunter smoke screen, which uh, not much of a difference. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my review. This is David Serna saying, "You like what you choose to like, not what others make you." I'll see you guys next time. 
Until then... I'll think of something. See you next time.